There we go. Got it. Amazing how one little screw can hold up an entire presentation. Here's the uh, serial number if you want to call and claim a refund. <laughs> you can say, I tapped it. <laughs> Ran it over three times. Several times. <laughs> so here's the back side of the board where a majority of the chips are located. Uh, here we see the TIDLP uh, application processor. This is um, the chip when we talk about the um, image binary code that is being sent from the projector to the uh, monitor uh, that uh, mirrors. That's what does it. Uh, we also have here the memory chip, which I believe is driven by the nomenclature, the Malpita chip. And then I believe the Walter chip is a power chip. Or not power chip. Yeah, uh, yes. The controller chip. That's the magic. Yeah, pretty much all these chips here do all the work, or do all the the code work necessary to do this part right here. And we're moving some ish compound. Shock, shock absorber, no joke. And this clay compound is used to absorb the, the situation where you actually drop your uh, pico projector on the ground. is because of the fact that the, that the mirrors are on hinges, it's often classified as a MEMS device. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with MEMS, they're basically small electromechanical, uh, micro exactly, micro major electromechanical piece subcomponents that are used to to replicate motion. So there's the, the actual projector, uh, projection lens. And here is the actual uh, DMD device. We'll remove that next. Look at this, it looks like an explosion. <laughs> Now the mirrors themselves, the width of one of these mirrors is, um, it's often compared to the width of a human hair, which is a good analogy as long as you're not bald, but as you see here, here's the actual DMV at the front of it. Now this area here is the area that contains two million of those little mirrors that we were talking about. The mirrors are moved through uh, electrostatic uh, force, so it's, you run a charge underneath them, and the mirror is attracted or repelled uh, by that charge. So it's a little rocket, and it's moved back and forth uh, by a charge. And here are the diodes, carefully labeled by good people out of Toma, red, green, blue. Now it's these diodes that go into the device that uh, work with the series of uh, mechanical pieces in there come up come reflected off the DMD device and through the projector. Let's see if I can get it. This, this is where the major work has still to be done. This is where the improvements in this device will come from. The mirrors are pretty much uh, done. I mean, there's not much more improvement you're going to be able to make on that design. This is, this is where the work has to be done. We've got to get more lumens per watt out of these things. 
which, which, you know, is, is a very interesting concept because I know that LED technology is is striving daily, as the gentleman who presented before us, to to improve themselves. So, but there's interesting development with LED technology because we also have situations with organic LEDs, which um, are are slowly approaching the marketplace because of their ability to provide such high luminance. You know, five, six years down the road, we can see peak overjack. Once the costs come down of organic LEDs, it's possible to to expect a projector system like that that features organic LEDs to up the uh, luminescence. Going back, we, we saw the board there. But the most important thing is the the actual device. Now, here's an image from uh, the good people at Chipworks. 